headlines of this bulletin. The working delegation of Gunther City visited Ungoho's mausoleum and Central Armed and Security Forces in Hanoi. Gunther delegation worked with the party committee of Phu Tha province to exchange experience in managing and promoting the special national relic site of Hung King's Temple in Phu Tha to apply to Hung King's Temple in Gunther City. Gunther delegation visited and presented gifts to armed folks and people on Hong Thuy Island. Hello, it's great to have you back here in this edition of Gunther News and Top News today. From January 8 to January 10, a delegation of Gunther City, led by Chairman of the City People's Committee Trung Vik Trung, arrived in Hanoi to visit Uncle Ho's mausoleum and Central Armed and Security Forces. Accompanying him was Major General Nguyen Văn Thuận, member of the City Party Executive Committee, Director of Gunther City Public Security. Paying tribute at Uncle Ho's mausoleum at Baden Square in Hanoi, Chairman of Gunther City People's Committee Trung Vik Trung and the delegation briefed the achievements of the party committee, authority and people of the Western capital and its development orientation in the next five years. In memory of Uncle Ho, leaders of the city promised that they will determine to stay united to successfully grasp and implement resolutions of the party congresses of all levels as well as of the 13 National Party Congress. Mr. Chung Vik Chung and the delegation visited and worked with President Ho Chi Minh Mausoleum Guard Command, Regiment No. 375 under the Ministry of National Defense, the High Command of Guard under the Ministry of Public Security, K9 Relic in Da Chong Hill, Minh Wang Commune, Ba Vi District in Hanoi. At this place, the delegation lit incense at Uncle Ho's worshipping house, visited the area for keeping the body of Uncle Ho from 1969 to 1975. The delegation briefed the city achievements to Uncle Ho and the managing bodies at every destination, thereby restated the determination of the whole western region in developing the homeland in 2021. On January 9, a working delegation led by Party Central member, head of Gunther National Assembly Deputies Delegation Trung Wuk Trung, arrived to work with the party committee of Phu Tha Province to exchange experience in managing and promoting the special national relic site of Hung King's Temple in Phu Tha to apply to Hung King's Temple in Gunther City. Gunther City Party Secretary Le Wang Man attended the function. Party Central Member, Party Secretary of Phu Tha Province Bui Minh Yau received the delegation. Party Central Member, Head of Gunther National Assembly Deputies Delegation Trung Wuk Trung informed the leaders of Phu Tha Province that the construction of Hong King's Temple in Gunther City, which was started in 2019, is expected to complete on the exact day of the death anniversary of Hong King's, April 24, 2021, or March 10 in the lunar calendar. The project has the area of 4 hectares and nearly 130 billion Vietnam dong of investment mobilized from the community and respond to the wish of Gunther's people in commemorating whom kings and predecessor who built the country. Comrade Trung Wuk Trung hoped that Phu Tha province will assist Gunther city in the completion of the main worshipping space and the display of artifacts, as well as the organization of annual Hong King's death anniversaries. Party Central Member, Party Secretary of Phu Tha Province Bui Minh Yau informed that Phu Tha Province is responsible for helping Gunther City with the worship being conducted at Hong King's Temple and tasked Phu Tha Department of Culture, Sports and Tourism to actively connect and provide instructions to Gunther City. On this occasion, the Party Committee of Phu Tha Province presented the statue of the nation's father Lek Lam Wung to Gunther City, while Gunther City presented the rice painting of Hong King's Temple in Gunther City to Phu Tha Province. The Inspection Committee continues to raise its responsibility, promote solidarity and internal democracy, synchronously and drastically carry out tasks to enhance inspection and supervision activities. This is the direction of the Standing Vice Secretary of Gunther City Party Committee Phan Văn Hiếu delivered at the conference for the criticism and self-criticism of the collective and leaders of the Inspection Committee of the City Party Committee on the role and responsibility in 2020 held on the morning of January 11. 
In the past year, the inspection board has strictly followed the direction of Central Inspectorate and the Party Committee directed the completion of all targets and missions in 2020, especially the organization of party congresses 2020-2025. Each member of the inspection board always has great responsibility in quality and morality training, well accomplished their task while prevented corruption and degradation in political ideology. Standing Vice Secretary of the City Party Committee Phan Van Hiu praised the collective and individuals of the Party Committee Inspection Board for its task completion in 2020 and also discussed shortcomings. He requested the Inspection Board to grasp and strictly carry out high-level guidelines and conclusions, promote inspection and supervision to timely prevent violations. On the morning of January 11, the Ministry of Labor, Invalids and Social Affairs held a conference to evaluate work in 2020 and in five years from 2016 to 2020 and disseminate development orientation phase 2021-2025 core missions and solutions in 2021 in labor, contributors and society disciplines. Deputy Prime Minister Vũ Đức Đem attended and delivered direct to speech. Standing Vice Chairman of Cần Thơ City People's Committee Yung Dung Hing and leaders of concerned departments and sector attended in Cần Thơ City location. In 2015-2020 phase, the human resource was expanded in wide range, with the workforce continually increasing by between 54.2 million to 54.6 million. Labor structures changing on right track, the rate of laborers in the areas of agriculture, forestry, fishing, cutting from 45% to 32%. It's up now 99.7% of families who have great contributions to the resolution have the higher or the same living standard as average level, and no revolution contributing families were categorized in poor households. At the conference, drawbacks were straightforwardly shared by delegates. For example, the rate of medical coverage is still low, the unemployment insurance policy did not really become the labor market management tool, the quality of laborers working overseas is still low. In 2021, the Labor and Venice and Social Affairs Ministry maps out 15 task solutions, specifically the dual goals of both controlling COVID-19 epidemic and recovering social economic development in the new normality, continue implementing, developing the mechanism and building the legal system on the areas of labor and social affairs. Delivering the instruction speech at the conference, Deputy Prime Minister Vũ Đức Đam noted the ministry centers and localities to focus on solutions to complete general goals in 2021-2025 phase in general and in 2021 in particular to ensure the stability and development of AGI labor market development, focus on training high-quality human resource, raise quality of vocational education, on this occasion, the Labor and Values and Social Affairs Ministry presented the evaluation flag and merit certificates for 17 ministerial-level units and 12 localities for their excellent attainments gained in 2020. On the morning of January 11, the working delegation of the High Command Zone 5 and 10 certain cities and provinces arrived in Hong Chui Island, Trung Văn Thời Hoa, Cà Mau Province, to visit and present gifts to armed folks and people on the island. Hong Chui is 17 kilometers away from the main lane. It has the area of 1.4 square kilometers with 31 households of 130 people, mostly fishermen. There are Navy and Border Guard forces tasked with safeguarding the certain territorial waters of the nation on Hong Yui Island, who have exerted efforts to excellently carry out their missions. The delegation presented gifts to the High Command of Navy Zone No. 5 and the party committees and the people of certain cities and provinces to the cadre of Radar Station No. 615 and Border Guards. High Command of Navy Zone 5 underlined that cadres and soldiers of the unit need to continue enhancing their level and capacity to well safeguard the nation's seas. 
On this occasion, members of the City Party Executive Committee, head of the Party Committee's Propaganda and Education Board Nguyễn Ngọc Tam, visited and offered encouragement to two cadres from Cần Thơ serving on Hong Dui Island, wishing them to promote training, overcoming difficulties to well accomplish their missions of national defense. On the afternoon of January 11th, Cần Thơ Association of Veterans held the 12th Conference of the Executive Committee, Tenor 6, to review association work in 2020 and disseminate mission for 2021. In 2020, while Veterans Association at all levels in the city paid regular concern over material and spiritual life of poor members, organized visits, offered gas, and presented many gifts on holidays and dead occasions, built 24 new affectionate houses and repaired 33 houses at a total sum of nearly 2.550 billion Vietnam dong, created every condition for members to make access to capital loan to develop family economy, thereby helping many poor members and member households escape from poverty and they are more and more well-off households. In 2021, Kansas City's Veterans Association maps out orientations and tasks in need of focus. They are to combine with department centers to help carry out movements and campaigns to mobilize funds of the association at the double level against late 2020 to continue mobilizing support for businesses, Titanic people to build membership houses and admit more members. On this occasion, teams with good achievements in emulation movements in 2020 were commended. Coming up next, let's have a look at the weather forecast. That is all from us at Gunther News today. To watch the bulletin again or for more information, please log on to our website at guntertv.vn. And now, thank you so much for being with us. Goodbye and see you next time.